Now, technology has existed within civilization to help with the goals of civilization. It's a mean for civilization. And technology has always been something that was more of a mean than an end. It's A mean can be a very dramatic thing, but still a mean nonetheless. And you can tell that with capitalism, the mean has changed. The mean has went from helping civilization by slowing the process of evolution to speeding up the process of evolution. Having those things around my ears because I think it's a waste of headphones. And speakers do run out in headphones, and that's kind of precious. But regardless, that's not what this video is about. I had to stop and tell me to soak that shit sometimes. What this essentially boils down to is the fact that whether it's capitalism, socialism, anything that steps past the slow. The slowing of the growth rate of society and the evolution. Evolution is a good thing, by the way. Evolution brought us here as human beings, but now we can slow evolution down to the point that we have comfort. We can have culture, and culture is the best thing. Believe me, when you can have your own kind of music, your own kind of food, and all this other stuff, all this different fun stuff and this way of expressing yourself knowing who you are existentially that's that's really great and as you can see with progressivism liberalism socialism capitalism all these isms right now that are helping the side of the left it's speeding up the process of evolution so things are changing quickly. We're getting those 90s kids, those 80s kids. Nostalgia up the ass because things are changing. And you can't really feel like you're part of a culture and get that existential comfort. It's, it's not there anymore. It's speeding up way too fast. And I made the video Western Civilization. But like I said, I'm not a white guy. So, I can't make a video like that. Really, everything I've been complaining about hurts all civilization. Every civilization out there is being hurt in one way or the other by leftism. Because they're taking technology and using it to speed up the process of evolution, which isn't what it's meant to do. By speeding up, I mean changes within ourselves and our behaviors. It's also a mimetic thing, too. That's why we should also worry about genetic engineering and medic engineering as well. I already made the point that back in April, I didn't really like the idea of hitting an ubermensch, but that is a good thing at hindsight having an ubermensch, but we're not going to have an ubermensch if mimetic engineering is developed. We're going to have a new socialist, ethicist, whatever is man. We're not going to have that superman, that god race thing. It's, it's not going to exist. So it's better to just pre prevent that from ever happening. Because we're not... I don't think that Unless we, I don't think the narrative is gonna basically help us, as Arini said. A new narrative. We need a lot more than that to prevent this new addiction for speeding up the evolution rate. Because we've seen that there are a lot of good things with speeding up evolution. Like there is a lot of good things with anything addictive, narcissistic supply, cluster B, personality disorders. Being a stable human being that's likable at the long term and not the short term. 
that has its disadvantages. Happiness in its Epicurean sense, not its blind hedonistic sense, does have its advantages and disadvantages. I mean, if there is no advantage to being an addict of any kind, even if it's not just progress, it could be basically alcohol or what's also something besides alcohol and drugs that people get addicted to and porno. Let's see, food. Even the bare essentials can be addictive. Hell, you can be addicted to just working out or something that it's really weird like that. There are advantages to being addicted. People like narcissistic supply. They like things like this, these emotions that basically feel good. Problem is, and we're seeing it nowadays, people need progress. People need to further the narrative of society just to feel normal, not even to feel great, not even the late 60s civil rights movement or 70s movement. Forget all the civil rights movements of the past. Now people just need progress to feel normal, to not feel like shit. And eventually, they will need it to feel like shit instead of ultimately dying off, which is what we might happen. We might deal with this in every society, not just the West, not just these white people. So white people, don't, don't worry. It, it could be the Asians, too. It could be everybody, because leftism and that narrative is essentially what's... Whether it's with genetic engineering or mimetic engineering and this new level of technology growth, we could be reaching something that's, quite frankly, the scariest thing I've ever seen. Now people are going to start trying to look like the best of every race. I mean, I'd like genetic engineering for some things. Um, I definitely don't like being born with the genes that make me an ectomorph. Maybe I'd try to get more buff naturally without having to work out for it. I, I know some guys are born just having that, that si hot size, that frame, and that's kind of cool. I don't like having to do my eyebrows all the time or shit like that. But you're going to see that and you can use genetic engineering to preserve the homogeneity of your civilization and do other stuff on the side. But all, all in all, all this new engineering stuff is probably going to be used for the very worst. And we're seeing dark days ahead of us. And this affects everyone in a negative way. But the short-term happiness is going to be really good. So when people... I don't really like calling people out on addictions. I did it once, and it didn't really, it helped, but it didn't help that much. That's just how it is. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. I'm glad I can make another one. You already know I'm gonna make another video on the Washington Heights shit. Peace out, everybody.